friends, they have a lot of resources. They have a lot of stories to tell. So in a way, branded content, and we all see the trend that the awareness of ad commercial breaks are going down and people are d time shifting more and skipping the ad breaks. So there are huge opportunity for the content side to work together with the brands. So what we are always saying that you shouldn't see, the, uh, you shouldn't see brands as enemies, you should see them as a possibility. You know, we, we went out to say that we wanted to do a TV series about a sitcom about a fictional ad agency that does uh, work for real brands. And everybody immediately gets it. You know, you, you tell it to the brands, they get excited. You tell it to the broadcaster, they see huge opportunities with uh, media products there. And, uh, you know, when, when we went and talked with Fremantle about it, they got excited. So, um, I, I think when something so sort of simple starts to ignite people, that it's really exciting. And, and, and for us, it was a, still, a, I think, three years in the making. And the, once we got the 10 brands and, and everything, you know, started the production and everything, that was really exciting to see it actually come live. We were here also in the MIP TV in April, last April. And what we heard about, there was a lot of talk going around about the branded content. But I think the thing is that everybody started to figure out that how can we cope with the brands so they don't, they don't influence too much on their content. But I would like to turn the whole situation. What can the brands bring on the table? They can bring resources. They have huge amount of data. You can make a much better show with, with the brands than without the brands. So start seeing brands as a possibilities for the content providers. I think that, and for instance, in our case, uh, by this format in Finland, brands are really eager to market the show. So if you take, for instance, one example is that when we did the show, we did all the making ofs and uh, extra materials for the brands. And uh, these 10 brands which are participating in the first season in Finland, uh, they have 1.3 million Facebook likes, which is 30% of the Finnish population. So if we can give them content and they, they want to distribute the content, they are promoting the so show in their own media. So I think the whole point is see the brands as a possibility, not as an enemy. We, we do see that the brands have uh, resources and the money. They have the data. So we're going to see a lot more branded content in the future. But that also puts pressure on, on, on content producers because they have to sort of learn a new way to, to create content. It cannot be any more about uh, the way that they see it. It's more about how the brand and the content producers find their you know, cooperation model. Everybody needs to see that there is a huge opportunity to do cooperation with the brands. And then one thing people are usually missing out is that they have their data. If you take Unilever, take Nissan, they have a huge amount of data about the consumers. So if we can take that data, the, their resources, we can make up one hell of a show.